Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I am working on this acrylic painting inspired by the Veronica's new single In My Blood. So the single was actually released today, the day that I'm recording this, um, but about a week ago they released the single cover and as soon as I saw it I was like, oh my gosh, I need to paint something inspired by this. Mainly because in the photograph their bodies are covered with this purpley pink glitter and it looks really cool um, and it really reminded me of my paintings from 2013 in my third year of uni when I did a set of kind of pop art style paintings that had a lot of glitter in them so I was like sweet I can do the glitter thing again um, I really enjoy incorporating glitter into my paintings and I definitely want to be doing it more in the future um, so that's how we got here today. That's why I'm making this painting. Um, I've been a fan of the Veronica's for a long time now, like since they started releasing music back in about 2005. So that's like over 10 years. <laughs> it's a long time. Um, but their new single, In My Blood, is actually quite different. It's very pop, um, kind of electronic in a way. Um, I really like it. I mean, I do love my my punk rock music, but I do love a good pop song. Um, if you didn't know, when I was like an early teen or before an early teen, I was really into pop music. Then as I got a bit older, I started liking heavy music, but I still do like pop music. Um, and it's a really catchy song. Um, I've been listening to it on repeat today because it was released today. Um, and yeah, you should definitely check it out if you haven't listened to it yet. But yeah, so for this piece, the background was a bit of a struggle. You will notice that it goes through quite a few changes. Um, Originally here I was doing the palm trees in the background and that's because in the photograph they've got palm trees in the background and I was I was gonna just keep it like that and heavily reference the photo um, But then I was like, oh, I didn't really like how they're looking and Then I thought you know what I'm just gonna completely change it and also I kind of like the idea of having a different background so it wasn't exactly the same scene I guess um, this is definitely more inspired by rather than copying, I guess, in a way, even though, I mean, they are very stylized in this painting. Um, I think it was cool to do like a completely different background, um, especially because like, I don't know, the photo gives me sort of like alien vibes in a way. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to put them in like a nighttime scene, have some like weird plants in the background. So. That's what I end up doing and I do like it a lot more. Um, I think I was quite brave with changing it like this just because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and I didn't even do like a test run. I didn't, you know, take a photo and photoshop it to see what it would look like. I just went for it, so <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm not sure if you would have noticed but I didn't start with the faces this time. For most of my paintings, I will start with the face straight away just because it's my favourite part. Um, and I don't know, I just, I always just get drawn to the faces, so I always just start with the faces. But for this one, because I was a bit unsure about the background, even before I started painting, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna paint the background first, and then, you know, if I feel like I need to change it rather than trying to work around, you know, painted faces. I could be a bit more rough and it didn't matter if I kind of went over lines or whatever. But I don't know, it was kind of good to do it this way just because I like painting faces so leaving the best till last was kind of nice. Um, and it really kind of brings the piece together, like once the faces are done you're like wow it looks so much more complete. Uh, adding the glitter this time was really fun. I did do it a bit differently than I did a few years ago. Um, this time I actually have an acrylic paint glitter, although whenever you buy like acrylic paint glitter, 
it's always really transparent. So I guess that's good if you want like a very thin light layer of glitter. But if you want like a thick layer, then it's not so good. So what I did was I actually got purple glitter and I mixed it in with the acrylic paint glitter. Um, and the amount that I added was like enough. So when I painted it down, it was like pretty much opaque and there wasn't really any gaps in the glitter. So yeah, and then finally we are working on the faces and I was happy with how these turned out. Again, it's kind of like the style that I want my acrylic paintings to go in. So I was really happy that they kind of, yeah, worked out how I wanted them to. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to say for this video. If you're wondering, the size of the painting is 12 by 12 inches, which is 30 by 30 centimeters. So it's not like really big, but it's not really small either. Um, and I'm using acrylic paint for the whole thing. And it probably took me uh, a couple of hours to paint. Um, it definitely took me longer than it should have just because of the background issues and I mean like you know that happens sometimes you have to change it um, and kind of like watching this footage back it kind of looks like a waste of time but you know that's the process and I'm gonna show you guys the whole thing um, you know even my mistakes and you know how I fix it you know it just because you paint something and you don't like it doesn't mean that's the end. You can always change it. Um, well, most of the time, depending what medium you're using. Uh, that's the great thing about acrylic paint. If you stuff an area up, it's pretty easy to paint over it again. Just let it dry, start again. Um, that's one reason why I really like it. And I think acrylic paint is probably my favorite paint. I do like watercolor, um, but acrylic paint, I don't know. I like it. I like how it dries relatively quickly and especially for like the style that I paint in, it works well. The uh, red lips that I'm painting in now don't really go that well, so I'm really glad that I ended up going over it with this kind of more pinkish color it definitely matches the glitter better um, and then here I'm adding in like a, a starry sky which I think really makes the background pop it looks so much better um, and it makes it kind of magical and yeah so anyway that is pretty much it here is the painting under some harsh light so you can really see the glitter um, and then here's the final painting so thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. She has kind of lumpy hair, if that makes sense. So let's do like her fringe bangs things and then a headband. And then she's got more 